here's where I, I tend to go viral at because I think some people take it the wrong way. And I, and I apologize if this comes off wrong. I genuinely do, but hear my heart. I believe that every man who is leading a family should be striving to make six figures. Because as we see, inflation is real and inflation is here. I don't see it dropping down drastically anytime soon. So if the cost of living, if the cost of bare necessities are going up, then we should be striving and figuring out a way to where our income is going up as well. The days of making excuses of I can't do it because of this, or that, and this, or that, that, that's gone, you guys. We need to start making more money, whether that's having a job and having a great side business or whether that is getting in a career and we're, we're going up the ladder because we love what we do and we're making $100,000, $150,000 a year. All of the jobs that I'm going to go over today, you can make anywhere between $90,000, $80,000 up to $200,000 a year. And I want to thank my partners over there at Bethel Tech who have an amazing program, the, the one and only Christian Boot Camp. Yo, what's going on, fam? Are you ready to make a big career move here by the end of this year? Why not pivot into the flourishing tech industry with the Bethel School of Technology, recognized globally as the sole Christian online tech boot camp? You see, with African-Americans constituting a mere 7.9% of the U.S. tech workforce, I believe it's time to narrow this display and unlock opportunities for everyone in this thriving sector. Bethel Tech is steadfast in its mission to make tech careers accessible, rewarding, and economically advantageous for all individuals. Their comprehensive nine-month program is designed to equip you with the necessary skills to propel you into your technology career and move forward at a high speed. You see, recent reports from Indeed suggest that software developers in the U.S. command an average annual salary of approximately about $103,000. This is well above the national average of $48,000. You see, diversify your tech education by choosing from their specialized programs like cybersecurity and UI UX design. With Bethel Tech, you're not just kickstarting a career, you're igniting a passion with a purpose. I want you to say goodbye to the prospects of crippling student loan debts and, and instead invest a mere nine months to transform your next decade of your professional journey. Step into your potential with Bethel Tech and turn your career aspirations into reality. To begin, I want you to go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash Bethel or click the link in today's show notes. Again, that is anthonyoneal.com forward slash slash Bethel. Don't wait another moment to take the first step towards a bright and promising future into a career space that can make you a millionaire. They have a mission, a strong mission to make sure that we that we've partnered to really make sure that we get this in front of minority and black people because the tech programs, the tech careers are creating more millionaires, more net worth millionaires than any other career field in the world. So Let's let's dive into the first career that I believe is worthwhile, worth you all looking into it, because I, I, I've i always wondered how much money do they make? You see, I'm always on a airplane at least two or three times a month. I'm traveling somewhere and I always see that big old building, right, uh, of people who are watching uh, the people fly out. These are the air traffic controllers. These are the individuals who are um, um, controlling the air traffic, telling people when they can land, when they can leave. And I've always wondered, like, wow, I wonder how much do they make? Does it require a degree? And I did some research. Um, it, they guide the planes and ensure safe travel. So they, they ensure that we are safe. And here's what I love. Their salary ranges anywhere between $70,000 on the low end up to $170,000 a year. These are the people that if our flights are delayed, it's because of them. <laughs> if, 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 if we can't back out and, and get onto the runway, it's because of them. If we land early and we can get another gate to go park, it's because of them. If, if they see five planes about to land at one time and they tell us, hey, you got to circle around so we can let this other plane land first and land first and you come in, it's because of them. And they are making good money. Now, what are some of the pros about this particular career? High salary and federal benefits. Now, you know, them federal benefits be running good. 
And, and I, I don't know all the federal benefits. I don't know if they're all the same. But, man, sometimes they cover 100% of your health insurance. They cover 100% of your dental insurance. Like, the benefits are great. I don't know if that's the case for all of them. But I do know in certain areas, man, them federal benefits was rocking. They were rocking good. Now, what are some of the cons? It could definitely be stressful. Let's be real. It, it could definitely be stressful knowing that you have lives in your hand. If, 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 if you're one second late, man, if, if you accidentally tell two plans, planes to land, that's an issue. Which brings up another con. Because it is very stressful and because it is very, very strategic and you have to be very, very on top of your A game, it's intensive training. You got to go through training, 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 and not just training up front, but you, uh, from what I was reading and researching, you go through a lot of training throughout the year to make sure that, it, that you're up to date on all the current equipment, you're up to date on all the new airplanes and, and how they maneuver and the basics of those airplanes. You, you are the individual that is pretty much making sure the United States of America is safe in the air. Um, um, I was doing some research. You got to learn how to communicate with the next. So if I'm on a plane and I'm leaving, let's say <clears throat> I'm leaving New York and I go to California, you're going to talk to different air traffic controllers. And you got to know how to pass off to this person, pass off to that person. And you got to be tracking every single thing. That's a lot, which is why they make a lot of money, but it doesn't require a four year degree. If, if you're good with, 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 uh, systems and, and, and pretty much organization. Oh, this is a good career field for you to look into. It's not an easy career field for you to get into because it does require, like I said, extensive training. But if you know that you're good with organization, you can see things and you, you can multitask very good. This could be a very, 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 very career field are for you to look into. Now, the pathway is you got to dive into the FAA requirements, trainings, and some examinations. It's very, very clear. Put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat if you're like, okay, this is a pretty dope career. I, I could look into this. I could really look into this. I don't know if I, I'll be honest with you, I couldn't do it. Having that many lives on my hand, I would be stressed out. But hey, you're making good money. Here's number two. Here's number two. Here's number two. Um, you guys know me. I'm always traveling. And I always get on the elevator. And I remember one time, I think I was what? I think I was like 30, 31. The elevator got stuck. I was stuck in the elevator for about like, uh, I'll say about 15, 20 minutes. Hear the people up there working. I was like, hmm. And the first, I would say about the first two minutes, I was scared. Then after that, when they talked to us and said, hey, we're fixing it. We're going to fix the issue. Give us 10, 15 minutes. It's an easy issue. I was like, okay. All right, cool. Let's do it. And y'all, I got to say, I was, I, I was like, okay, this is easy. This, this is easy. Okay. All right. And so I came home and I started looking, okay, well, I wonder what do... Elevator. Work on elevators. And so here's an overview of what an elevator mechanic does. They keep the world's vertical transit systems running smoothly. Vertical. So when you're going up 15 floors, 25 floors, 54 floors, 103 floors, an elevator mechanic keep those things running smoothly. What's the salary range? Low end, forty thousand dollars to get into it. Once you really learn it, about one hundred and fifty, about one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars for people who've learned it and been in it for a while. <laughs>